Okay, the dryer, your your dryer will not heat. Okay, so this is a gas dryer. So first thing I always do is look at the vent, make sure the vent looks like it's not restricted. And looks like the gas valve is on. It is plugged in. I'm just gonna, oh, that timer feels kind of hard. So that timer needs to be lubed. So first thing we're going to turn on, we're going to look down at this little viewport here. So we should see a flame. If we do not see a flame, it could be the thermal fuse in the back of the machine, or it could be. Now uh, the thermo fuse is located on the blower housing. Back behind here you have to take the back panel off to get to that back panel to get to the thermo fuse. That's the most common problem that causes dryers not to heat. And that thermo fuse blows when that vent is kinked or you don't have any airflow into the room. It seems we have plenty of airflow into this room because there's a gap in the floor right there. There's a vent right there and so so we're going to turn it off we're going to look down the viewport and see what we see okay there is the viewport right there I'm just going to take a look inside there and see if we see any action By now it should start to glow, but I don't see any glow. So there's a problem. There's definitely a problem. It's an ignition problem. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at that thermal fuse with my meter. Okay, so here's the back of the dryer, and there's a little disclaimer for you. Warning, before servicing unit, disconnect electrical. Replace all panels as before. So what we're going to do is check a couple things here. Um, if you have a gas dryer, it's actually not a good idea to be moving these very much. I think uh, if you do move them, you should check them with the soapy water to make sure there's no leak. Um, Natural gas is pretty smelly stuff. You can really, you can usually smell it. Okay, so you can usually smell if you have a leak. Um, if in doubt, consult a professional. This video is for informational purposes only, because working with appliances can be hazardous. So first thing we're going to do is check this thermal fuse here. I usually disconnect it just to isolate it from the circuit. And we'll also check the above uh, thermostats here. This is thermal cutoff. This will be a one-time non-resettable thermal cutoff. This is a resettable thermostat. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky to do with one hand, but I have done it before. And for the purposes of this video, I will try it again. So that thermal cutoff is bad. Okay, so we're going to have to replace that thermal cutoff there. If that thermal cutoff was good, basically we'd see this reading here on the meter. It's basically a continuity reading. If we touch the two terminals together, we see this reading here. And since we don't get any reading here, then we know that this thermal fuse is bad. Now we're going to check this one here just in case. Usually this one goes before these go, before this one goes. And we'll check here so we have continuity. Now that's how that thermal fuse on the bottom should read. It should be reading continuity. Um, so basically we're looking for continuity on that. 
This one does not have continuity, so we need to replace that. So normally when this fuse goes, it's a, it's a flow problem. It could be a excessive drying uh, problem as well. You know, they have uh, a family, I think it's a family of three, and they have quite a few um, friends, and so, and of course this is the rainy season, so they may be doing a lot of clothes. And so, that's your dryer tip for today. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. If you need uh, coaching, I can coach you over the phone for a donation. Call 707-443-8347. 707-443-8347. Pacific Time, 9 to 9. Thanks for watching.